Hello there, it's a beautiful day in Florida. How are you doing, cake salad? We've just like had like tornado warnings like yesterday, and now it's like no clouds, zero clouds. Florida's weird. I'm a little rusty on the whole vlogging thing. You're, you might have to forgive me. But I was watching old cake salad videos in preparation for this month of vlog every day in April, except every fourth day. Uh, much simpler than what I've done in the past. And what's really great about watching those old videos is that you can really kind of see where you were a couple months ago in, like, comparison to where you are now. Uh, and that's really interesting interesting to look at. This, like, this isn't even the house. Like, that was filmed in a completely different house than the one I'm in right now. We live somewhere else at the moment. They actually, my parents actually own this house, which they haven't owned a house in quite a bit of time, so. By the time I had filmed that video, I hadn't even met the person I've currently been dating for like seven months. So it's just interesting, like, looking back there and just like, oh, that's a slightly different person, and it's good to, you know, kind of have that as a landmark in your life. So, and I have a lot of stuff going on this month. I Like I've been saying in the group chat, this whole month is just, might be the busiest month of my life. And there are some ups and downs uh, with stuff that's going on, and I figured, you know, future me uh, could take some interest in figuring out exactly uh, who I was and what I was thinking about and what I was doing on April 3rd, 2016. So here's what I'm doing. Um, I've been at my current school, the college that I'm at, uh, for like three years, since my sophomore year, and this is my last semester as a dual enrolled student, as a high school student. This is like technically my senior year in high school, which is weird because I've been in, I've, my social group is all, it's all college students, so it's like weird for me to even think of myself like that. And the state has pretty much paid for all of my college education because I'm in high school taking college classes. Like, it's a really good program. Probably, like, the best program in the state. It might even be a little bit broken. It's, it's, it's pretty good. I worked everything up perfectly where I would graduate high school and graduate with my associate's degree at the same time. Unfortunately, last semester I failed my college algebra class, uh, so I am one, like, credit short of exactly where I need to be for my associates. But fortunately, I can clep the test, uh, which I can either take it on the 8th of this month or the 8th of next month, which also happens to be my finals. So, I'm leaning toward uh, the 8th of this month to uh, take my clep test. The test that would allow me to have my associate's degree, Other otherwise I'll have to apply to the college like as a normal student and just take one class, which wouldn't be great. But the problem with uh, this month, the 8th, uh, is that that's also my opening night uh, for rent, which means we have Tech Week all this week. And this weekend, we've still been doing, like, rent stuff. Like, it's absolutely consuming my life. Bit tired of it. Yesterday was exciting because we, like, played with a band for the, right, for, the, for the first time. It's like a rock opera, so it's pretty exciting. But regardless, I'm still poo-pooed. And with all this stuff going on this one month, I'm... It's very easy for me to be like, I'm just going to focus on exactly what's going on in the present right now. Uh, but the thing is, after this month's over, after this semester is over, I have absolutely no plans. Or ideally, I'll have no plans. If I do fail the CLEP test, then that means I'm going to have to take it, take, take one course over the summer, and then I'll have no more plans at all. Like, I should have applied to schools. I know I should have applied to schools. Uh, the one school I applied to, FSU, uh, in Tallahassee, there's actually a campus here in Panama City, that's another FSU campus, uh, didn't accept me. I got the letter from that today that I wasn't accepted into FSU, but, you know, I knew I wasn't going to get into their film program anyway, so I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do if I was there. Like, I was kind of, I've kind of just been flying off the seat of my pants this entire time. I haven't really had a focus on exactly what my goal was. So, I can't really say that I'm all that disappointed that I didn't get in, because now I can... Because I guess I would have been just as aimless taking classes at FSU, because I didn't need to take gen eds. I would just be taking whatever I wanted my bachelor's in, because I would have already had my associate's degree. So I wouldn't have to have taken all of the normal classes. I would have just had to have picked a major when I showed up there. But I'm not going to come to any conclusion today. Uh, I'm just kind of bummed out. I'm kind of stressed out for this whole rent thing. 
uh, and it's difficult for me to look in the future and figure out exactly how I'm supposed to, what I'm supposed to do, but I don't want to be, I don't want to be aimless. If I, if I don't end up going anywhere, I want it to be for a reason. I want it for, to be for me building my skills or something. But I just don't know, I just don't know what I'm aiming toward right now. Hashtag real talk. But I'm glad we're doing this whole cake salad thing. Because even though this is a super busy month, I feel like this might keep my feet on the ground. Thanks for letting me vent to you guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. Future Jared, if you look back on this, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure you're fine. I'm sure you're fine.